Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm bringing you an absolutely crazy little strategy that I wanted to share with you. Now it's not the build order, I'm just demonstrating this. Uh, it's basically a Khmer 13 minute night rush and it's absolutely mental. You can even do it on Arabia as I'm demonstrating here. Um, I'm going to call it the, the Khmer Huang. I don't necessarily use monks but you can do. Uh, you certainly can use monks, but I don't do particularly in my little rendition of it. It's actually something I saw over on Grassland st stream and uh, I thought, you know what, this is pretty interesting. I'm going to have a look at this one. But in terms of playing this on Arabia, I mean, I noticed there was a man at arms rush coming in. I'm playing against the uh, Ethiopians. Uh, I kind of screw up a little bit here. But you can just, you know, just safely palisade around you, your resources and... The men at arms rush is pretty much redundant at that point, but thank God for Khmer houses. <laughs> Didn't lose any villages there thanks to that. Uh, obviously a little bit of eco idle time. It's causing me a few issues, but um, we are almost halfway up to the cast now. It's so only 12 minutes. So I should really be getting the stables down at this point. I kind of screwed up a little bit with the execution here, and there's quite a lot of idle time. We, we, we'll ignore that. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, should be getting the stables up now and then researching uh, Bloodlines, ready for when we hit Castle Age, we've got Bloodline Knights uh, on the way out. But um, as long as you can withstand this little barrage from the enemy early on, um, you should be absolutely fine. And as I say, it's quite easy to do if you just wall up around your resources if they're going for Man at Arms. Um, Archer Rush. You're probably hitting Castellage in just in time for when the rush would come in, so you should be okay. Um, early scout rushes, probably 18 pop you may struggle with potentially, but again, you'll just defend the same as you are doing here, to be honest. Uh, but he's going for men at arms and archers. Obviously, the archers are taking a little while to come in, and I am now in the Castellage. So, uh, stable's gone down, very late stable. Uh, in terms of the build order for this, I'm going to be uploading a build order for it. It's probably going to be my next video, so do subscribe and hit the bell notification icon uh, so that you don't miss when it comes up, uh, when it's when it's released. And also for those of you who are subscribed and you don't have the bell on, do click the bell because you're not going to want to min you're not going to want to miss this build. It's absolutely ridiculous, a ridiculously strong strategy. What I'm doing in this particular video. I uh, I'm showing you the kind of like the end result of this game and also one more. So I've only played two games with it, won both. Brilliant. Considering I've not been playing for well over a month and I'm extremely rusty, I'm so happy with how this has gone. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can see I'm rusty with all these idols everywhere and, you know, things like that. But it works. It works on Arabia and it, and it, it shouldn't. A fast casual should not work on Arabia as like an open strategy uh, in a 1v1, but it does. Because it's so quick, um, it's just bonkers. Now, um, because I kind of screwed the build up a little bit or got distracted by this little rush that obviously I've still not got bloodlines yet, uh, I figured I just needed to get some troops out, to be honest, um, and then look at getting bloodlines later. But it's it's absolutely crazy absolutely crazy when I release the build I want you to have a go at it and tell me how you get on I want this to become Khmer meta <laughs> because it's just nuts and I don't want to come up against it that's for sure um, so yeah I mean looking back at the opponent's base he kind of panicked a little bit what he, he did have loads on I mean you can see there's just villagers walking around all over the place it's just re rejigging his uh, his economy now to try and get up to castle as quickly as he can he should have built a market. As soon as I hit Castle Age, get a market, buy your way up. Um, he kind of panicked a little bit. Quickly getting some walls down. He knows that knights are going to be in his base pretty soon. Just letting, uh, letting some more knights come out. There we go. We've got Bloodlines on the way as well in a minute. Uh, that knight there just not really doing anything. Don't know why, but never mind. We'll go forward in a minute, start attacking. Uh, but essentially, what I do with this build is go forward with the knights. Um, make a transition into battle elephants, which is good because you know once you've got a good number of farms, um, battle elephants are, be are better, I think, at this stage, uh, certainly before your enemies in castles themselves, because um, you know they can really tear down buildings. There we go, we've got battle elephants on the way. Uh, but they're also you know with only being on one stable, 
they do train six seconds faster than the knights uh, yes they do cost a bit more uh, food but uh, you're able to to mass them a lot quicker than you are the uh, the knights so very very beneficial to go and make that little switch what i actually like to do as well is once i've started to get a bit of an upper hand um in the enemy base come forward make a forward siege workshop and then start spamming scorpions uh, and basically just go for a battle elephant and scorpion combo uh, which is what we're sort of aiming towards now so i will start sending vill more villagers over to wood pretty soon because i'm starting to get to that stage where i'm uh, on top of things uh, the opponent did try and make it a market i think it was like 99 percent completed but i managed to deny it uh, but by the time that would have been completed he already had enough resources to click up he's now panicking trying to just whack up as many barracks as he can he's got 12 villagers <laughs> 12 villagers rushing that barracks up which is uh, yeah, a little bit crazy really uh, I don't know what um, is he producing yeah so he's producing some spearmen out of there but his, his resources are, are pretty pretty lacking lacking in food lacking in gold um, lacking in wood at this point but you know he's gradually getting the spearmen out which is what he needs uh third one coming down again with a huge mass of uh, those 12 villages again trying to rush up a third barracks obviously that probably in preparation for that one going down to be fair um but here we go We've got more and more battle elephants coming forward going to uh, going to take control here uh village numbers pretty even at this point i'm well i'm one ahead but i am uh, I've obviously been in Castle Age a little bit longer. He will hit Castle Age soon. Uh, so I've probably got a bit of three villager lead. Yeah, three villager lead pretty much at this point. Uh, do lose quite a few villagers to those little mass appointment there. He has gone up for monks, which is probably the best uh, way to try and counter this at the minute. Pipemen and monks uh, to, to, you know, certainly uh, deal with this combination. Uh, but I do have a villager coming forward, so the scorpions are going to be on the way. Uh, when I've done this against AI, I've been able to get scorpions out at about 17 minutes. So, uh, you know, obviously against the AI, it's a lot easier. I mean, it was against the extreme AI, but it's still, still easier. Um, so not quite gone to plan. Uh, I do like to get it, out, get the siege workshop up before 20 minutes, ideally. Um, but uh, as you can see, we are continuing to push forward. Obviously, the monks causing me a few issues now. Um, but I'm quite happy with how everything's going. I should be able to... Uh, you know, start clearing this up. He's going for a second town center. He knows he needs to start catching up. We've got, uh, we've actually got a nine village, uh, eleven village lead at this point, which is uh, pretty crazy. Even dropping a second siege workshop just to really start the uh, scorpion spam, which is uh, certainly what I need against uh, this little army composition the opponent's got going. And we're going to start adding some stables here as well. We're going to start adding uh, light cav to the mix. So we've gone from uh, a siege into light cav combination. Uh, we're starting to move away from the battle elephants a little bit. Uh, still got some coming through. Economy is just a bit of a mess. <laughs> as I said, I am rusty. But at this point, we've got quite a good number of scorpions. Those battle elephants at town center is going to go down quite nicely. And. Uh, we are going to start adding some uh, mangonels as well. Keep adding light cav, and we're just we're just steamrolling at this point. So this is game one. Let's have a look at game two. 